Hi, YouTubers. I'm going to cover this a little better for you so you understand it. <clears throat> the camera was set up a little too far so you could have missed something. These are stainless steel plates. I drill holes in them. There's a hole at the top. And these type of bolt and wing nuts go in the top. You start out with a jar like this. Now the reason I bought the plastic lids was when you put your positive and your negative hole in like this you don't want the two to touch so the plastic is an insulator and the plates would sit like this in the jar and it would be fastened if I can do this with one hand oh boy It would be fastened like this in the jar as the bolt goes through, oops, the bolt goes through the top. Okay. Now you make up about four or five of these, and this plate is separated about eighth or a quarter of an inch, and you use a nylon nut and bolt to do that separation. Now if I take this one apart so I can show you. This one runs a lawnmower or a boat motor <clears throat> when you want to go fishing. Hold on a minute, I gotta undo this. <sighs> That's gonna take two hands. These three up here, these were hooked into this throttle body. That ran my Chevy truck. This is just to show you how it worked. That was rainwater in all three of them with a tablespoon in each one of baking soda and then this was glued into the top of my throttle body went through the top of my air filter was here and the, back, the uh, air pressure blew in the gas now out on this end there was a hose like this that was hooked to a funnel on the front of my radiator on my truck and you can see the truck out there. And it was off to the side of the radiator, and that would push the air in at 70 miles an hour into the bottle, and it would air up all the bottles at 70 miles an hour. Then it would move the gas out to the top. Now, I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna have to set you down for a minute. <clears throat> Okay, what I've done here, here's your plates, there's the nylon screw. Now, see the length of this hose? The long hose goes to the bottom of the bottle. The short hose, right there at the top, there's where the gas comes in and then goes into the throttle body. So you want the long hose into the bottom of your jar. And that's how it works. This is a good picture of the plates that I made. And you can see the bolts at the top of the plastic cap. And that's all you need. It'll make hydrogen for six, seven, eight, nine hours. And then the water will turn brown, as you can see the color of the jar. You dump that water out. You take a paper towel and you wipe the plates off. Just wipe them clean. That's all. Throw the paper towel out, refill the jar with water, put in a tablespoon of baking soda, then put this lid back on. And that'll help you run it on hydrogen, rainwater. Now, when I'm out fishing, you know, it costs enough just to buy the boat and all the fishing gear, so. I got aggravated and I said, well, what the hell, I, I run my truck on this stuff. 
So I dipped it in the lake and filled this up with lake water. This one is different. This has a vacuum adjustment on a ball valve. It's the same principle, only I'm going to take air in through here, suck it in from the vacuum. And this end is drilled a hole in my manifold on my boat motor, and there's a fitting on the manifold, and this plugs into the fitting. And I start the motor up on gas, and then I open this up as the vacuum builds up, and then it starts running on the hydrogen. Then I turn the ball valve on the gas tank to off or near off position and turn it slow because she'll take over start running. This needs a, a minute or two to start building hydrogen gas so you'll see it on the bottle and you'll watch it come through the line. So once you put power on the positive and negative 12 volts give it a, about three four seconds or a minute and then she'll start producing hydrogen. And that's when you start turning your ball valve down on your gas and opening this one up on your vacuum. Now this is my throttle body. This is a used one. And I had uh, the copper I glued in with glue. And I came through my air filter. And I hooked this bottle up. And I ran three bottles. Where's the other one? Right here. Here's the other bottle. I ran three to be able to run that V6 at 70 miles an hour with no problem. And I had gas left over, hydrogen gas from the rainwater. Now your oxygen sensor is going to sense this hydrogen and go full rich. So I don't have the potentiometer, but I had a dial on a 10K potentiometer and I run it to my map sensor from my um, hydrogen oxygen sensor, cut the wire, and then hook it to the potentiometer, and then run that to your map sensor. Okay, and now you can adjust your CPU. It's 14 parts air, one part fuel. And you can turn it down, your gas flow, and then you're running on hydrogen. Now that was on a Chevy truck. So you find the map sensor, and you find the wire it's one wire going from your oxygen sensor that'll help you accomplish this where you can run it. Actually with that 10k potentiometer I could turn my gas right off from my CPU onboard computer would just shut it right off the motor would keep running because it was getting fed the, uh, the hydrogen from the rainwater. Okay YouTubers yeah if you like more of it just hit the button thank you for watching Bye.